the drawer. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Like, really? Yeah. What do you like about it? It wasn't as expensive as the rest of the things you were Good morning from Phuket. So um, I got these Atana magnifiers and I also got, uh, I got two different types. I also got these. And uh, right now I'm sitting in front of the Andaman Sea and uh, I'm gonna try to push the drone really, really far out in line of sight. And I'm gonna see if these antenna boosters actually make any difference. So I went with the RC2 remote control as opposed to the new remote control. I just, um, for me, bulk is, is, a, is an issue. I would really like to keep my kit as compact and as light as possible. I feel like I'm already carrying a lot, so I went with this one. But this one does not have as long, long of a range compared to the, uh, to the new remote. So I'm going to just see what the limits are with this one. All right, let's get the drone out. So let me just fly the drone out uh, until the kind of uh, antennas go to maybe half strength. And uh, let's take it from there. So we are currently at 900 meters away. The signal is at full strength. Let's keep going. Okay, we just got a weak signal warning. So we are currently at 2.4 kilometers away. All right, let's see if we can adjust the antennas. I'm just gonna angle them 90 degrees, see if that does anything. Well, it went up to three bars. So let's see what happens if we do it like this. Okay, then the connection went down to two bars. Halfway, two bars, 90 degrees. Three bars. Okay, I think this is a good spot. Let me try to just put one of these on and I'm gonna aim it straight at it. Uh, not a, no big difference yet. And then let's try the other one. Whoops. Okay, so that appeared to have worked um, momentarily. Now it's down to two, three. Hmm. Let's try this. Let's try the 90 degree thing. That, that worked well without any antenna boosters. Okay, so we're up to three. Momentarily four. Okay, let's try the let's try the other one. Okay, so the other signal booster is on, and it seems to not make a huge difference. Let me try it a few different angles. No, that made the signal worse. That made it better. Okay. And that's stable. So let me try the, the other product. Give me a quick second here. So by removing them, the signal, hmm, kind of stays the same. Oh, it went down. It wait, okay. So these definitely seem to help. Let me try to hold the remote in the exact same position. Okay, so this one, oh, it's right on the line between three and four bars. Whereas uh, with these signal boosters, it was kind of steady at four. Oh, no, it's at four. Oh, it's not at, no, it's at three. If I angle it just a little bit differently, does that make any change? No. Let's go back to 90. Okay, that improved it. Seems to be stable. What if I flip them around? Ooh, that made it dramatically worse. Oh, now it got better. Three bars, two bars. If I completely remove them, Three, four, three, two, 
wonder if there's some interference coming from the hotels around me. Um, these definitely don't seem to work, at least in these conditions, as well as the other boosters. Let's try to put them back on. Okay, four bars. Um, and it's relatively stable at the moment. No, it's not. What if I flip these around? Steady four bars. If I orient them like that. Three bars. Four bars. Three bars. Went down to two, just as I touched the antenna. It's a three, four, three, four. I would say this is mixed results. I'm just gonna take them off. We're at three bars, four bars. Steady at three bars. So, um, the new remote uh, is rated at 30 kilometers in perfect conditions, whereas the RC2 Pro is rated at 20 kilometers in perfect conditions. So, there should be a one-third difference in the new remotes. And uh, unfortunately, the boosters that I got don't seem to make any difference. So, even if you don't need the internal 512 gigabyte storage, or the, the more robust Kodak, uh, keep this in mind. That remote, you're gonna get like a little bit more resolution from the transmission from the drone. And this, the connection is probably going to be more stable. And you cannot make up for that with signal boosters, apparently. It's uh, currently without any signal boosting and the signal is steady at four bars. Let's see how far we can push it just to, just to test it out even further. We are at 2.5 kilometers away. I just uh, got down from four bars to three bars. Went momentarily down to two, three. So the island that I'm flying towards is directly in this direction and I'm aiming the antennas this way. If you, if you look at my screen recording in my remote, you can see that I'm also aiming square at that, that little island there. We are at three bars, four bars, at three kilometers away, two bars. Oh, now it went down to red, to one bar, now it's two bars. So I do think there's some interference happening, whether that's the ocean or it's the, I don't know, humidity in the air. We're in Phuket, it's relatively humid. Or even some of the resorts and hotels around me, they might have like signal boosters or strong Wi-Fi signals that might be interfering with the remote. All right, so I'm back in the crib. Uh, maybe interference, like I mentioned during the test, is playing a role here, but you know, at least these two signal boosters didn't seem to yield much better result than just using the RC2 Pro remote, uh, just stock bare bones. But uh, let me know in the comments below if you have a different experience than I have. Please also describe the conditions where you felt uh, uh, the, the signal boosters did well for you. Also, if you have a different type or a different product uh, signal booster, please let me know. I would love to give some more products a try. But uh, at least according to these initial tests, they, they didn't seem to do very much. All right, guys. Uh, so uh, I'll be making a whole bunch of uh, content based on the DJI Mavic 4 Pro in the near future. Please let me know in the comments below if there's something specific that you'd like me to dive into. I'd love to hear from you guys and uh, see you guys around in the near future. I'm planning to make a comprehensive review on the Mavic 4 Pro, but until then, I think I'm just going to make like a quick, quick, small uh, videos like this. Please remember to give the video a like if you made it to this point in the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more footage or more content based on the Mavic 4 Pro. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the near future. Bye!